what's going on guys and welcome back to another video of a day in my life as an aircraft maintenance engineer um in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys what i will be doing today as an aircraft maintenance engineer um today i'm actually working on an airbus 330 and she's here for a quick lmv that is a line maintenance visit and i'll be showing you guys what i will be doing today so my task card for today is to replace the filter for the IDG and IDG is an integrated drive generator that provides AC power to the aircraft and one of the maintenance requirements for the IDG is to replace the filter and also service the oil uh, which is something I will be doing today. On your IDG you will notice they have two ports uh, one port is for servicing the hoyer for the idg and the other port is uh, it's called an overflow port uh, which is used to depressurize the the idg so the first step i'll be taking is to deactivate my cycle breaker and the reason why i'm doing that is for safety reasons and honestly, one of the reasons why I like working on this um, Airbus 330 is just the amount of space you have compared to like, you know, the A220, the 319, even the 320. Like, you have so much space to move around and it's just really accessible to, compared to like, you know, other aircraft. And I cannot imagine how the 350 is or even the 380, um, the amount of space you're going to be having. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be deactivating my cycle breaker and this is the location of where most of the cycle breakers are for the Like I said previously, this IDG has two ports. Uh, one is for the servicing and one is for the overflow. Um, the best way to tell the difference is just the size of the port. Um, I believe the servicing port is a little bit smaller than the overflow port. Um, and it's pretty easy to put in. All you got to do is slide that backwards and you slide it in. Uh, it's a really easy um, task.
so this is where the filter is located uh, and it's inside this casing the casing is really easy to remove um, there is actually a socket um, provided in the AMM to use to remove the casing or you can use your regular neck pack plier me personally I like using the socket because that way I have more grip on it and it's really easy for me to remove but yeah it's, it's a really easy tax all you got to do is turn the cover counterclockwise and you will be able to remove your filter easily <laughs> So this is what the IDG filter looks like. Um, it's made of metallic mesh um, and you want to make sure you do an inspection on the filter to see any sign of any type of metallic debris, um, which is not, you know, there's actually a certain amount of debris you can find. Um, and if you find a lot of them, that means you got to change the IDG. Um, the next step I'm going to be doing is to change the O-ring for the IDG filter casing. And the whole purpose of the O-ring is to make sure there is no, um, is to seal the area of the IDG casing and also prevent any type of oil leak leakage. Me personally, and as recommended by the AMM, you got to change the seal whenever you remove the filter. Um, but yeah, it's pretty easy to do. All you got to do is slide your O-ring out, make sure it's loaded before you put it back and put it back on. That's pretty much it. Got the O-ring? Yeah, I put them on your... Thank you so table. much. No problem, man. So putting back the IDG filter back to the IDG is pretty easy. As you can see inside there is a groove um, on the IDG um, 
itself and also the filter all you gotta do is make sure it sits properly and you slide it in and push it a little bit and it's a really really easy tax man like you actually get the feeling once you slide it in that it's sit it properly Servicing of the high DG is actually pretty easy. Like I said previously, you have two ports. One is for the servicing and the other one is the overflow port. And the IDG has a glass that shows you the quantity of all your presence in the IDG. The yellow side is the overflow, the green is the that means the oil is serviceable, and the red means you have to add more oil to the IDG. The servicing is pretty easy. You have your IDG cards. All you gotta do is connect your IDG card to your IDG and pump the oil inside. To meet, to verify if your IDG is being serviced properly, you actually have to verify it through the overflow port. So once you start pumping oil to the IDG, and once the IDG is overfill, then it's going to start draining from your over overflow port so that actually shows you that the IDG is serviced properly and also on the glass you see the oil quantities around the the green bar and that is a good sign that your IDG is serviced properly So that's pretty much it for today's video today was a really easy day i think i had three tasks to do and that was it for the night oh yeah if you guys are new to my channel my name is peter i'm an aircraft maintenance engineer or an aircraft mechanic um i make videos like this to show you guys what i do as an aircraft maintenance engineer i also make videos to educate you what to expect as an aircraft maintenance engineer you should check that out uh for you guys that are new please do not forget to like share and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next video. Love you guys.